a mysterious structure in the Earth's core, that's what researchers have discovered and in this video we take a close look at what's dormant in the core of our planet. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to get to the heart of the matter. If you like it, I'd appreciate a hearty thumbs up and a comment, because that way we can get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. I find the interior of the Earth almost as exciting as outer space. The thought that not only above us, but also below us a completely unknown world is waiting to be discovered by us is fascinating, isn't it? Incidentally, this also applies to the oceans, the bottom of which we have not even completely mapped. Write me in the comments what you find more exciting, outer space or our Earth, with its mysterious seas and inner structures. If the interior of the Earth is not your core competence, here is the structure of our planet again, the Earth consists of three main layers, the crust, the mantle and the core. These layers vary in density and have different chemical and physical properties, which are influenced by geological processes such as plate tectonics and volcanism. Today we are primarily interested in the Earth's core, the inner layer which consists of iron and nickel and has a comfortable temperature of around 5,500 degrees Celsius. So far, geologists have assumed that the core can be divided into two areas, the outer and the inner core. The outer core is about 2,300 kilometers thick and liquid, while the inner core is solid and only 1,200 kilometers in diameter. So far, so easy. But there's a tiny little problem with this schematic of the Earth, and that is, it's wrong. Australian researchers have now found this out using seismic measurements. Since real life is different from my favorite game, Terraria, you can't dig straight to the core of the Earth. You have to explore it indirectly. This works via seismic waves, which are mainly triggered by earthquakes. The researchers measured the seismic activity of earthquake hotspots at opposite points on the Earth, and found that seismic waves moving through the innermost segment of the Earth, which consists mainly of iron and nickel ore, behaved slightly differently than in the layer above. But how do you read accurate information from such seismic waves? The keyword is, anisotropy. Mama, the strange man from the internet is using strange foreign words again. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. Anisotropy basically only describes that the properties of a material or system are different in different directions. Simple example, wood. Joking, here's a real piece of wood. Wood is anisotropic because it has different properties in different directions. For example, it is usually stiffer and more resistant in the longitudinal direction than in the transverse direction. But what does an anisotropic piece of wood have to do with the core of the Earth? Much. When seismic waves pass through the Earth's core, they behave anisotropically because the physical properties of the core are different in different directions. In particular, the speed with which seismic waves rush through the core depends on the direction. In wood, the anisotropy depends on the orientation of the cell walls, while in the Earth's core, the anisotropy arises from the orientation of the crystals or molecules in the materials of the core. But the principle remains the same, both show different reactions to external forces in different directions. What is being investigated in seismology and material science in order to better understand the properties, for example in the Earth's core? Since researching a piece of wood is not that exciting, the research team tried the whole thing with the Earth's core and found something really amazing. Around 200 earthquakes measuring over 6 on the Richter scale have been studied, most notably a 7.9 magnitude quake that struck the Pacific nation of the Solomon Islands in 2017. This earthquake was particularly suitable for studying the Earth's core, since the pressure waves generated spread through the entire body of the Earth, and these pressure waves were then recorded by numerous measuring stations in the opposite northern hemisphere. The researchers write, our results strengthen the evidence for an anisotropically distinguishable innermost core and its transition to an outer shell, which could be a fossilized record of a major global event in the past. For normal people, i.e., Non-geologists, formulated, you have discovered a miniature Earth's core in the Earth's core. 
So an innermost inner core, which is surrounded by the inner core, which in turn is surrounded by the outer core. A bit like the Russian matryoshka dolls, where there is always a smaller doll inside the others. In this illustration here you can see how you can imagine the innermost inner core of the earth. A separate small core that is clearly separated from the inner core. Unfortunately, the terminology is now very confusing and I think innermost inner core is a pretty stupid description. But unfortunately there is no better name yet. If you have an idea for a more appropriate name for the innermost inner core, please let me know in the comments. In any case, the researchers were also able to obtain detailed information about the innermost core from the evaluation of the seismic data. It is probably about 650 kilometers in size and is made of pure iron. This again raises new questions. If both the innermost inner core and inner core are made of solid iron, then why have two separate structures evolved? I can already see that now Hollow Earth conspiracy theorists will take this as evidence of a secret Nazi base in the Earth's core, or something like the very accurate documentary Iron Sky 2 describes. Exploring the Earth's core is important to understand more about the formation and evolution of the Earth, and how our planet's magnetic field works. The Earth's magnetic field is largely caused by effects in the Earth's core. This is called geodynamo. As we already know, the outer core of the Earth is liquid, the inner one or both inner cores are solid. The movement in this electrically conductive liquid around the inner cores creates the magnetic field. And the innermost core of the Earth that has now been discovered could also revolutionize our understanding of the Earth's magnetic field. This, in turn, may bring us information about the reversal of magnetic poles, known as the pole shift, which may occur sometime in the future. The research states, although the geomagnetic field may have preceded the birth of the inner core, changes in inner core structures may indicate shifts in the geomagnetic field that may have profoundly affected the evolution of the Earth and its ecosystem. Although all this knowledge about the Earth's core seems really far away and very abstract, these processes have always shaped the planet and life on Earth. And that's why it's very good if we remain curious and continue to research it. Speaking of curious, I wanted to tell you something really great. My wife Jana has written a space children's book entitled, The Solar System on the Attic. It contains a great many beautiful stories for little astronauts and is the perfect book to awaken children's desire for space, and their urge to explore unfortunately, the book is currently only available in German, if you would like other language versions, please let me know in the comments. So if you know little space explorers or would like to read the galactic stories yourself, let me know if you would be interested in a translation. And as a small thank you, I also have a very exciting video for you. Have you ever wondered what's actually going on with the Gulf Stream? And could a new ice age threaten if it stops? You hear that a lot and I took a very close look at it. And I can already tell you, nothing on this topic is as it is usually reported. So if you want to know whether you ever have to prepare for an ice age, then definitely click on the video shown, it's really, really exciting. And as always, stop by the shop. Otherwise I would say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.